What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the best melee weapons in all Fallout 76. We have the Blue Ridge Branding Iron. Starting off from the weapon, this is our 3 star legendary Blue Ridge Branding Iron that we're going to be using for the video. And the main legendary effect is the instigating effect, which is a plus 100% to damage against targets with full health, has a plus 40% to weapon speed, and also has a plus 1 to strength. Over the mods, we're using the extra flame jets and the Blue Ridge Branding Iron paint. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful Blue Ridge Branding Iron, we've made our way to the myth, the legend, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Alfred. We're just gonna sneak as close as we possibly can to him, then we're gonna start swinging. So here we go, just eat my branding iron, brethren. Look at that the damage, and just like that, this behemoth is no more. The next targets on our list to fill the wrath of the Branding Iron are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And here's our first target right here. We're going to hit him with a heavy hit. And we've got one shot, two shots, three shots, and four shots, and he's dead. Not that good with the heavy hit, but outside of the heavy hit, here we go. we got Vats Critical. One shot, and he's dead. What about this guy? Hello, brethren. One shot, and he's dead also. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. Excuse me, sir. We're just coming through. Oh, you're legendary. There we go. What do we get from you? We've got ourselves an assassin's board. No thank you. Now I just gotta sneak around real quick, make sure these guys don't see me. Excuse you guys, I'm coming through, don't you worry. Okay, I think they found me. Excuse you guys, don't y'all worry about me over here. I'm just swinging my brain and iron. Just watch out, don't get in front of it. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Look how fast this thing swings, it is absolutely insane. And you also do a ton of damage with each hit, look at that. Amazing, and just like that, oh, oh, we got one more guy, we got one more guy. That's it, there we go, one shot. Two shots and he's dead. Now I've made my way over to my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Linda. And once she gets down here, we're just gonna start smacking her with our brain and iron. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Just gotta be careful, do not want to get hit with that laser gun. Alright, just eat my brain and iron, you stupid overseer. There we go, there we go, we're doing good. Just a little bit more, and just like that, this overseer and her band of buffoons are... No more. For our next target, we have one of the most vicious creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. And we're just gonna lock onto her and start swinging. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. I do gotta be careful with her poison and her hitting me because she can kill me extremely, extremely fast since I'm in bloody build. But, but we're just uh, gonna stay really careful and keep in here. There we go, absolutely amazing. Just a few more shots. Eat my brain iron, you stupid beast. Now over in our build, these are the base stats to make up our in-game melee build, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats while the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards to make up our in-game Blue Ridge Branding Iron build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this one can have Traveling Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We have Blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from opponent's melee attacks. We of course have all the Gladiator cards at 1 star to get the maximum of damage out of this weapon. We have Incisor at 3 stars. Your melee and unarmed weapons ignore 75% of your target's armor. We have martial artists at 3 stars. Your melee weapons weigh 60% less and you can swing on 30% faster. Over in perception, we have 5 and this one can have grenadier at 2 stars. Your explosives detonate with twice the radius and this works with our legendary perk card collateral damage. We have glow side at 3 stars. Deal plus 60% to damage to glowing enemies. Over in endurance, we have 14 and this one can have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have Kinfin at 3 stars. Any kims you take lasts 100% longer and we did take overdrive and cycle buffs in this video. We have Ironclad at 5 stars. Gain 50 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. Over in Charisma we have 6 and this one can have Filter Gen at 1 star. Stim packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. We have Stranger Numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 and this one can have Nerd Rage at 3 stars. While both 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Makeshift Warrior at 3 stars. Melee weapons break 50% slower and you can craft tier 3 melee weapons. Over in Agility, we have 15 and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action Point to generate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Ninja at 3 stars. 
Sneak attacks with melee weapons do three times the normal damage. We have escape artists at one star. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have sneak at three stars. You are 75% harder to detect while sneaking. Over in luck, we have 15 and this looking at bloody mess at three stars. 15% of bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gore red paste. We have ricochet at three stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PVP. We have starch genes at two stars. You'll never mutate from rads and rad will never cure your mutations. We have better criticals at three stars. Vats criticals now do plus 100% of damage. We have searing debate at three stars. Wobble 30% health gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. And we have critical savvy at one star. Critical hits now and consume 85% of your critical meter. Over in legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards that help make up our in-game branding iron build. Starting off in strength, we have that card maxed out. We have endurance maxed out, intelligence maxed out, luck maxed out, hack and slash maxed out, and collateral damage at three stars. These are the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor buffs and mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear, which gives me a gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health. And since we're a low health bully build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I used is my trusty normal backpack with the high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over in the under armor, what I'm using is my shielded secret service under armor to get a plus four to our strength, a plus two to our perception, and a plus four to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have a general reaction. Action, bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Scully Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in the Kim buffs, we took Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and we took Psycho Buffs to get a plus 29 to our max HP a 1.35 to our endurance, a 1.35 to our strength, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over the unique shotgun added to Fall 76 with the Once in the Blue Moon update, the Kabloom. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Kabloom video.